Okay, now I'm just going to show this fight again because I know that uh, showing just one video of a boss fight doesn't really tell the whole story. And he's a little tough if things go badly. Again, I start off with a, a Nimpo every time. He'll come close. And here I should have done a Gloomy Blade, but uh, I didn't. I was, that was stupid of me. I blame the camera. Uh, then, uh, as you can see, I was trying to do a Gloomy Blade, but I just did something else and uh, he got me nailed for that. But there you go. That was... Uh, and when that happens, that's the that's what you want to do. Now here I see him doing this. I know he's vulnerable, so I go in and get him. Now uh, again, I could have done the same thing here, but uh, the fish were there. Now this attack is devastating if you get hit by it. That where he throws his sword out, but it's blockable. Uh, it guard breaks, but uh, it does. Uh, it is blockable. Now here's a here's what I do not recommend. Do not do what I just did. Uh, maybe if you do a full blade of Nuriti, it would actually be better. Uh, but as you can see, that if you just do that, it will nail you during your recovery frames. Now here I was too far away, but luckily I don't get hit by that. Again, you have to just practice to know when to, uh, where to be to charge your gleaming blade. Oh wow, that was close. No, I'm getting in some hits, but it's not exactly what I want. Again, sometimes he lets you, sometimes he just blocks it. Like there. Roll gleaming blade. Again, he's blocking it, so I'm getting pretty pissed off for now, but... And there you go. Uh, it's not...